brought to you by Lister Pros TV, streaming from Tempe, Arizona. And we're live in five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, Jordan Nelson here, host of Real Estate Pros on Lister Pros TV. Today, we're in our Tempe, Arizona studio with Shalia Long of Century 21 Arizona Foothills. Hi. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day and joining me on Real Estate Pros. And thank you for having me. Glad to be here. Awesome. So for those watching that don't know who you are, we'll let you introduce yourself. Okay. My name is Shalia Long. I'm with Century 21 Arizona Foothills, um, and I'm a real estate agent. Nice. <laughs> awesome. So what's your favorite thing about being a, a real estate agent? People. Yeah. Yeah. I love working with people. I love talking with people. I love earning people's trust and exceeding their expectations. So it's definitely the people. Exceeding expectations. We were talking because Shalia recently had knee surgery, right? Yes. So yeah. still working through still having working to be through. on bed rest and uh, really going above and beyond uh, for your clients. So how long have you been in, in real estate? I have been in the real as a real estate agent since the end of 2016, but I've been in the mortgage business for over 25 years. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah, I um, managed a call center prior for mortgages. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah. So how has uh, your previous experience in mortgages helped you in your real estate career? Honestly, you would think it would be the mortgage part of it, but honestly, it's a different personalities um, that I've had to work with, managing people you deal with all types of different personalities and that's the same with working with the public is that you're going to deal with different levels of expectations different level of experience some people have sold and bought homes many times some people this is their first time so just managing you know the different people and personalities is probably my mm -hmm. strongest so Shirley, we know uh, in in real estate there's a lot of different focuses you can or pieces of the business that you you can do mm -hmm. commercial, residential, investments. What are, what are those things that you focus on as an agent? I focus on residential purchases. So I'm a buyer, buyer um, agent as well as a listing agent. So I do both, probably about the same amount of listings and buys. Gotcha. So yeah. we know now there are, I think, over 60,000 agents in the Phoenix area. So yes. why, do, why do your clients uh, decide to do business or want to do business with you? They trust me. I'm very detail oriented, very much so. I'm big on communication. Um, my clients never have to wonder what's going on in any step of the process from the very beginning to the very end. I keep them well informed and we work as a team. And I think that that's what people like about me most is just my attention to detail and my thoroughness mm -hmm. and knowledge. Yeah. yeah. And we know there's a ton of options when it comes to brokerages in Arizona or in the Phoenix area. Why did you choose uh, Century 21? It's a brand name. It's well known. It's been around forever. Everybody knows who Century 21 is. Um, initially, that was my decision for going there. My uh, reasoning for staying there is just a support system. Um, I love the people there. I love the other agents. They are very helpful, especially in the beginning when you don't know what you're doing. Right, right, right. Um, I have a wonderful broker. She's amazing, and she's there for you Monday through Sunday all the time if you have a question or if you need something she's there for you and it's just a really good family like support system so mm -hmm. i really really enjoy being there yeah, yeah. De definitely heard a lot of great things about century 21 now wh which office are you out of because i driving down baseline one day uh -huh. i seen an office there's over an there. Office there there's a few other ones yeah as there, well. that's our gilbert baseline office and then we have one gilbert on power road and that's the one that i work at the one on power road all right yeah. so what areas of the valley do you cover all over uh -huh. i've done everything from gilbert all the way to tolleson oh man so, so you... if you are buying or selling a home, I will go wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> How many miles you put on that car? A <laughs> lot of miles on my car. <laughs> but I have two, so it's okay. All right. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. So um, so obviously you stuck in, you've been in the real estate industry for a long time. For a what, long time. What advice would you give uh, to somebody that w was starting in real estate uh, new? today? Yeah, brand new. Um expect the unexpected mm -hmm. and you're going to learn more of what not to do versus what to do 
honestly. Um, you can try and prepare yourself, you can read, you can follow people around, you can study, but you're gonna learn more about what not to do, cautionary tales, than you are what you're supposed to do, that's gonna come. So um, I would just tell them to expect the unexpected. It's a, it's a crazy world in real estate. Right, and no transaction's ever the same, right? There's None. so many different variables mm -hmm. on a buy side or yep. even selling yes. you know, with financing and all mm -hmm. these variables that mm -hmm. you're juggling. Uh, it seems like, you know, there's, you know, you'll get, you may get a smooth transaction from time to time, but it's probably not the norm, right? I've had pretty smooth transactions, yeah. honestly. And I want to say it's because of communication, communication with the lender, communication with the title company and communicating with your client. As long as you keep communication open with all of those parties that are involved, it can go pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. um, I do really well with getting along with the other agent. And I think that that's another key to success is that you're gonna be working with this other agent from the very beginning to the end of the transaction. So if you can get their trust and you can get you know along with them well, it's gonna make for a smooth transaction. Sure. Yeah. And uh, what activities do you focus on to uh, drive your business, right? Some agents will hit the phones, door to door, open houses. Okay to pull clients or like, wow, what does that look like for you? I get my clients from referrals, uh -huh. um, word of mouth. Um, once I have a pleased client, they wanna tell everybody about me. I'm huge with social media. So I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, and I meet a ton of people that way. I would say 75% of my clientele I've gotten from social media. Oh, wow. Yes. So what, what would you say is, because as a real estate agent, you know, on social media, I think some people have a tendency to overpost. Oh, I, I, I'm real, you know, like so, just, just doing a sales pitch so long. Well, like, what, what, is, what, is, what is it that you do to, I guess, not annoy, but I guess to pick up clients on, on Facebook and the strategy to kind of mix up your content, right? So I do not post strictly real estate content. I have a business page and I have a personal page and my contacts and my referrals come from my personal page. Right. Um, my business page, I am posting real estate stuff, but mm -hmm. that's really not what people want to see. They want to know who you are as a human being. So I showcase myself as a mom. I'm a mother of four boys from age Ooh. seven to 23. Uh. Yeah, all boys, pray for me. Hey, I got four boys too. <laughs> I do have four boys. See, we got something so in common you know here. That's like. Yeah, yeah. And I love to cook, so I do a lot of cooking videos and they get a lot of views from people. I mean, I've had some that have 7,000 views. Wow. And people get to see another side of you. People want to get to know who you are as a human being, who you are as a person and outside of real estate. And once they get to know you and trust you and like you, then when they're buying or selling the house, they think of you. So what kind of food are you cooking to get 7,000 views? <laughs> all, I cook all kind of food, everything from barbecue. I grill, I smoke food, and I stove top cook. I do briskets. I do... You from the Midwest? Pork. Where are you I from? I am from the no. South. All right. Yes. Yeah, so me was, too. Dallas, Texas. I was born in Texas. There I was born go. in McKinney, Texas. All yeah. right. So Raised then. in Cali and then I've been living here for All 15 right. years. It seems like everybody's from Texas. got the smokers and uh -huh. stuff like that. That's, yes. that's how you get down. Yes. So awesome. So you definitely... Uh, how long have you been here in Arizona? I've been in Arizona for 15 years. Um, as I mentioned before, I was with a, a very big bank. I worked in the mortgage department. So I... I transferred from California to here for the bank. And after being there for 21 years is when I decided to foray into real estate. So. Right. And I think a lot of agents may struggle with, um, with uh, so their social media, con I guess their social media content strategy, mm -hmm. but I think that's, that's important. The, the things that you brought up were to keep it personal. Like keep it people, personal. people wanna see who you are as a who person, are, not, yeah always about your sales pitch or exactly. your newest listing, just listed, just sold, just listed. You know, like, that's all great. You can weave those in, but. Yes. Uh, so what do what you- 80-20 is yeah. what they say to 80, do. 80-20, that's probably a good, 80, 20. Uh, good mix. So what, what are you seeing on your, your best engaging posts and posts. stuff that you do? Food. Food? Yeah. Everybody loves food, Everybody right? loves food. Yeah. Everybody has to eat. I love to eat. So I see a lot of engagement with food. I see a lot of engagement when it comes to being a mom and handling my kids, disciplining mm -hmm. them, working with them, helping them. 
um, I see most engagement from there. You'll get engagement from real estate, but people see that all the time, and there's plenty of websites they can go to to see that type of stuff. They want to know who you are. So, so. what kind of cooking videos are you doing? <laughs> I, I've seen some out there that are hilarious. Well, like, you can join the, my page. You know you what? I'm going to have to check it out. my videos. <laughs> Shalia Long sells AZ Homes. So. Awesome. So, so is that your, your business page? That's my business page, yeah. Awesome. So, well, if somebody watching this episode is interested in having you represent them as a uh, buyer or seller, how do people get a hold of you? They get a hold of me by either email or they can call me. My number is 818-692-8344. Or they can add me to their social media pages and it's Shalia Long Sells AZ Homes. You on Instagram too and yeah. all that? They're all the same. Yeah. What is it? Shalia Long? Shalia Long Sells AZ Homes. Shalia Long sells AZ Homes. Thank that's you so website, much. website, that's my Instagram, and that's my Facebook. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me on Real Estate thank Pros you. this afternoon, and we will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you, guys.